Welcome back. We are starting to see some clouds breaking up across the area here in middle Georgia. Now we're still expecting to see partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight, but it won't be quite as bad as it was out there for today. Also, the bigger story is that we're seeing the rain finally moving out. We're still going to keep some drizzle and some light showers in the forecast for the rest of the evening, but otherwise expect us to be mostly done with our heavier rainfall. And you can see that we've really seen some heavy rainfall in a few spots across middle Georgia just over the past 24 hours. So uh, it's very much a story of the haves and the have nots here in Macon. We haven't seen really anything, but down in Eastman, close to two inches of rainfall down near Abbeville, over two inches of rainfall and around two inches of rainfall in far northern parts of Monroe County from that little storm that came through last night and just kind of sat right over the area. So significant rain for some, no rain for others. We're really all going to dry out those. We're heading into the rest of this week. This is looking out right now in our 41 sky view from downtown Dublin, where things have started to calm down from the rain that we had been seeing earlier today. 72 degrees out there right now. Winds coming at around 8 miles per hour, so a little bit of a breeze sticking with us for the moment. Take a look at our almanac though from today. Highs around 78 degrees, so well below normal thanks to the cloud cover, thanks to that wedge front that's been just kind of pushing in some of that cooler air to our area. 66 though, where we started out, so that's thanks to the humidity that we've been seeing across the area, which will eventually make its way out of the area by next week. But for right now, we're dealing with some mid and lower 70s in the spots that didn't quite see the rainfall today, where we have been seeing the rain low 70s continuing. And really all across the eastern portion of the U.S., we've been dealing with that wedge front building in. So it's pushing in the easterly and northeasterly winds and keeping us on the cool side all the way up towards Atlanta as well. Over in Birmingham, they've been in the 80s for most of the day, 90s in Mississippi. So they are still in full time summer mode over there. We meanwhile are in our fake fall, which will be moving out as we are heading into tomorrow. So I hope that you have enjoyed it because as all of this starts to move out, we will see some clearing and by tomorrow we're going to be back in the 80s by the afternoon. Plenty of sunshine on the way along with a mix of clouds by the afternoon. We head into our Friday though, and we're really going to start to see more of this kind of clearing out. So plenty of sunshine on the way for the end of the week and even into the weekend. But for the rest of tonight, we're going to keep the clouds around 67 degrees by around 10 PM, 66 by around midnight. We head into the day tomorrow though. We're going to start in the mid sixties. We're going to be back in the mid seventies by lunchtime. It will be a little bit breezy once again from that wedge front. So wind gusts up around 17, 18 miles per hour through the morning and into the early afternoon. But as Everything gets very boring forecast wise as we are heading into the end of the weekend and into next week. So I expect to see the high pressure just really kind of taking hold over our area. It's going to keep all that rain well to our south. We're going to be in the mid 80s all the way through the middle of next week. In just 10 seconds, I'll look at our seven day forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. And here's your 41 NBC Act Weather 7 day forecast sponsored by Volume Chevrolet. We will see those temperatures warming back into the mid 80s as we are heading into the weekend and all the way into next week. Plenty of sunshine on the way. Our lows are dropping into the low 60s with some upper 50s by next week as well.